Hi everybody, my name is Paul Marcenison. I'm from Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Uh, we're up here in... Uh, Buffalo. <laughs> Buffalo, thank you. Buffalo, South Carolina, up here for the Little Brown Jug. Uh, the dual sport was today. Uh, a couple of buddies of mine, my son, uh, we did the Little Brown Jug dual sport. And tomorrow I'm trying to get the courage to uh, do the Enduro tomorrow. So I just signed in and uh, hopefully I'll at least get through the, the first half to lunch and then we'll see how much gas I got left in the tank. <laughs> Yeah, and I was explaining earlier, uh, you know, uh, I have two boys uh, and used to coach all the teams and everything, and it soaks up all your time uh, being a parent and being a coach. And finally, uh, they got out of the sports stuff in the high school and college, and so time started opening up for me, and I was like, what am I doing with myself? And uh, as a kid, I used to ride dirt bikes. Uh, but I said, ah, let's, you know, let me buy a little dirt bike or something, get back in the woods and see what it's like. And, uh, so it really kind of rejuvenated me, you know. Yeah. And, uh, it's great physical action, activity. Uh, ran into a bunch of other guys to do a similar thing. Uh, down in Florida, we have what's called the Florida Trail Riders Association. You know, they put on the air scrambles and enduros and stuff. And uh, so joined the club, started doing some of the racing, you know, sticking my toe in there. Uh, Pretty much got crushed for two or three years, but now, you know, kind of getting there, so. You're figuring it out. Yeah, figuring it out. It's not so bad anymore, uh, but I only do, uh, you know, one, two or three races a year. I, I can't get on the full schedule there. Uh, too much, uh, too much uh, abuse to the body, you know, when getting older here. So I just hit 60 this year, and I want to just keep all the parts moving, you know, so. What do you do the next time to prepare a little better? Yeah, the, the next time is obviously keep going with the cardio. And, uh, you know, unfortunately down in Florida, we have so little places we can ride. I mean, if this was available to us on a regular basis, that would be the best training. You know, nothing like doing what you're training for, you know. Right, right. Uh, because I thought that, you know, based on my conditioning and, in the pool and on my bicycle, this is going to be a piece of cake, but well, uh, it's not. <laughs> it is not. It, it's like preparing for you know what you got to do in a flight or fight situation yeah. versus the actual situation happens. Yeah, yeah. Takes a lot of energy. So well, I, I have to, uh, you know, try, I, I don't know, and obviously you can't be monitoring, well, I guess you could, but not monitoring your heart rate as you're doing this stuff. Uh, but I see, you know, when I'm done, my average heart rate is way above where it should be to sustain, you know. What we call a dual sport in Florida is completely different. You know? How different? T tell me. Uh, well, we, first of all, we don't have that many places to ride, so uh, we try and connect uh, mostly fire roads uh, with asphalt, and uh, it's much easier. Yeah. There's virtually none, no single track in our Cool sports stuff, okay. you know? but the thing is we you know uh, the guys that I ride with older guys we don't see that many younger kids coming into the sport doing that you know FTR races are a little different uh, because you got parents still involved and stuff like that state land in Florida is very limited riding uh, opportunities you know, thank God we have some you know big national forest down there Ocala yeah and, uh, and up in up by uh, Pensacola there in Tallahassee, there's some, right. some good national forest area. So yeah, we got to keep the pressure on and not let the uh, bureaucrats shut it down because it's easy for them to just say, you know, no never mind, forget it. Yeah. yeah, doesn't affect them. Yeah, doesn't affect them. So, well, yeah. you're participating. You're sharing your story, coming and being part of this event, sharing your heart. We appreciate it. Thank you again for your service and for the time of interview. Yeah. It's been well, a pleasure. Thank you. thank you for listening. All right. Bye now. Bye. Don't let the